Hi, Brian Evans here. Today's topic is going to be what's wrong with indexes. I want to talk about what's wrong with market cap weighted indexes, bond indexes, specifically high yield bond indexes. So the first thing, uh, I did a chapter in a book called The Black Book on Personal Finance back after the first crash of the last decade, which was 2000 through 2002. The S&P 500 dropped about half its value, as you may recall. And uh, in my analysis, I discovered that the crash was not due to bad stocks in the stock market. The crash was instead due to Vanguard and market cap weighted indexing. And what do I mean by that? Well, if we start with uh, the S&P 500, there's 500 companies in it. During that three year period, more companies went up in value than down in value. You say, well, that doesn't make any sense. How could it have lost 50% of its value? It's because these companies represented the uh, dot coms and the uh, tech and the telecom. And they had a 50% weight when it comes to the dollar. So actually it was less than that. It was just this little group here had about a 50% weight in the index. So when this 50% dropped 80% on average, it made the whole piece look bad even though this part was up during that crash. So why is that? Well, market cap weighted indexes by the most of the biggest companies. They have one criteria. They don't look at the price of the stock relative to its earnings. They don't look at future projections. They don't look at growth of the stock. They don't look at book value. They don't look at anything. Even the other indexes that claim to be uh, fundamentally weighted, revenue weighted, dividend weighted, what they're looking at is the gross dividends, the gross fundamentals, the gross book value, these kinds of things. And in every case, you end up with the same companies at the top. In fact, most of the the, the uh, allocation of the assets is really a funnel shape to where most of the dollars, again, are here. So when, this, when all of these companies, let's say there's 350 here and 150 here, when these uh, companies go up in value, they can't offset all the dollars that are in those. And so that's what's wrong with market cap weighted indexing is that it's always going to chase uh, the value and the price of stocks. So for instance, let's say an individual holding in here was a dot com trading at $100 a share. And let's say it had no projections ever of earning any money. And it went up to $500 a share because everybody was just buying it. Well, the index would look at this and go, you know what, we need five times as much of this company. Period. That's what it does. So it would always buy the most of a company when it's at its highest price. And if it went back down to 100, it would say, gosh, we got to get rid of 80% of the holdings in this. So it would sell at the low point. So by definition, an index buys high and sells low. That's why we had a crash in 2000. Had you just put an equal amount into each company, you would have had a gain. Now what's wrong with bond indexes? Bond indexes do a similar thing. However, they're not buying, you know, with bonds it's not a company by company thing. Instead, bonds, bond indexes are going to buy the most of the biggest uh, lenders. So for instance, right now, the biggest lender, of course, is the U.S. government. And so the indexes look and say, all right, what, what's the most uh, bonds put out? Well, that'd be the government, really big corporations. And so if you're really heavy into government bonds, what do you have right now? Well, you have a basically a 1.4% yield on the average government bond. I'll talk about this in another segment. So you really load up on government bonds. So the bond index, the total bond market index, does not have preferred bonds, convertible bonds, U.S. high yield, foreign high yield, build America bonds, emerging market bonds, any of them. It only goes after the biggest of the big. 
And the final category would be high yield bonds. So if you wanted an allocation of high yield bonds, wouldn't you just buy an index? Well, yeah, if you wanted, of the poorly rated companies, I want the company that has the most debt. Well, gosh, that doesn't make any sense. Well, that's what a high yield bond fund does. It will buy the companies with the most debt that are poorly rated. If they have less debt, it doesn't want as much of it because they're going to buy big, meaning the most outstanding debt. So again, nonsensical. So we have to be very careful when it comes to buying indexes and that is what's wrong with indexes.